What's good? What's good? So today I want to talk to y'all about something that's very common in our generation. Situationships, complicationships. I'm pretty sure many of you have heard of it. Um, if you never heard of it or you haven't been through it, you probably uh, kind of young. Throughout the video, if you don't know what it means, I'm really going to explain not really what it means, but by the end of the video, you, you'll kind of get like what I'm saying. You'll kind, you'll kind of understand like what it what it really means. I also want to say that it took me quite a while to um, actually write this video and release this video because those of you who don't really know, I probably do know, these advice videos are based off of stuff that I've been through and I got over it somehow and I want to help you guys not go through the same thing I go through or just like a heads up on something that, that could happen to you. I didn't want to release it until I was 100% sure that I was like not thinking about the situation, not being mad about the situation. And yeah, like I, had to, I had to make sure and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm good now. So that's why you guys are seeing this right now. So let's get into it. In situations where you're dealing with people, whether it's talking, dating, or in a relationship with them, you gotta be cautious of that person no matter what. Pay attention to their vibe from when they first started talking to you to the very moment you're in now because people will change up on you in seconds and I, I've seen it happen and it, it happened to me more than once. When someone decides to leave your life out of nowhere without any warning, don't ever think that you did something wrong. It ain't you, it's them. Well, of course you're gonna have the thought of, well, what the hell happened? I, did I do something wrong? Why, why'd you just leave? Now, I'm not gonna tell you to just leave them be and forget about the situation because at first, you, you can't. It's gonna wander your mind, it's gonna taunt you, it's gonna have you thinking about it probably the whole day because you want answers, you wanna know what's going on. If they tell you why they left, you gotta train yourself to move on. Now, if they don't tell you why they left, you gotta train yourself even harder to move on. Recently, I told myself that with every person that I'm dealing with, whether it's like talking or relationship-wise, I'm always gonna have the thought in the back of my head that whatever happens in the end, I'm gonna be okay. In the situation that I was recently in, I, I told myself that. A tiny thought in the back of my mind knew that something bad was gonna happen, but I just didn't know when. And I, I wanted to stick through it because I want to know what's gonna happen. Like if something bad happens, I'm a, I want to learn from it. So I, so the next person I'm dealing with, the same thing won't happen. I actually wanted to stick through it, even though I could have prevented it um, way earlier. And throughout the process of it, there were a lot of feelings involved on my side, and that's normal feelings that I can't ever lie about. That's normal. Like I'm not gonna tell myself not to feel. For a person i'm just not gonna do that but then again I'm, I'm putting myself through that i know what i'm doing so whatever happens happens it might end in a good way it might not but like the way my situation ended it, it was totally not what i expected and i was hurt by it i was confused because i didn't know what was going on and the thought of it would not leave my mind like i, I would literally be trying to go to sleep still thinking about it and i couldn't sleep that's how bad it was. Then I really had to start thinking logically like I didn't really do anything wrong. And one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because you could be in a situation and you could be having all these thoughts about what could have been done differently, why it happened, but you doing all this thinking, the other person living their life not caring one bit about how you feel at the moment because if they really cared they would they wouldn't just leave without no warning or leave you confused and and stressing out i also learned that you can tell a person how you feel about them you can say all the right right words you can do everything in your power to make that person happy but if they do not feel the same about you none of that crap will matter you basically wasted your time if they if they don't feel the same way about you and it's the sad truth of it like it's it's, it's crazy and that's like one of the biggest lessons that i've learned and I'm the type of person who will hold their feelings back, but once you give me that okay and that, that comfortable vibe, I, I will spill everything out. And I, I, I'm gonna say some deep stuff. But like I said, in my situation, I could have prevented it from happening. Like I said, I wanted to stick through it. I wanted to know if it was really gonna happen. I wanted to know if it would turn out good or bad. It was unexpected, but hey, that, it's life, man. What I also wanna tell you guys is uh, don't pour your feelings out to someone if if uh, they ain't feeling 
not even close to the way you feel. And if you do want to say your feelings for whatever reason, don't say it all at once because that was that was definitely my problem. Because you telling all this person all these feelings that you have for them, you telling them how you feel about them, you telling them everything, all this stuff, you're doing all this, and uh, what they doing for you? Damn near nothing or nothing close to what you want to see or hear. I don't have any hate or dislike towards anyone because I've, I've learned that uh, you can't live your life disliking people and hating people for any reason because uh, it, it won't benefit you. Because having that, that, that in your heart is not good at all. You can dislike someone's actions or hate someone's actions, but not that person. And I also don't like to be the one to blame anybody for anything. I'm just telling y'all to be careful when you're dealing with other people because there are some people that will come into your life that would do you in the worst way possible and not feel any way about it. Not care about how you feel after they do it. You can't control it. You can't complain. You gotta just move on. That's the best thing you can do. And like I said, I couldn't release this video unless I truly felt like I moved on. Now, I don't want to contradict myself. So, like I said in my previous, one of my previous videos, um, still don't give up on people. No matter what. You can be hurt, you can feel some type of way about somebody because of what they did to you, but don't give up on people because not everybody will treat you like that. Not everybody is gonna hurt you. And the worst thing you can do is drive away the right person. Everybody won't do you wrong, but you just gotta be mindful of, of people's actions. In my situation, I've had some friends that uh, helped me out throughout the process. I've had some friends warn me about it, but like I said, I wanted to go through it because I wanted to know what's gonna happen. I'm a nosy individual. I, I wanna know like how this gonna end. Like if it's good or bad, I don't know. I, I wanna, I, that's how you learn, man. You, you, gotta, you gotta go through stuff to learn. It sounds crazy, but it's what you gotta do. Or you can learn from other people, like watching this video, listening to my situation to prevent yourself from going through that. Just keep that in your mind, not letting it happen to you. Cause really, if I didn't go through stuff, this this channel would be pointless. But yeah, man, I just I just want to tell y'all that I love y'all. That's why I make these kind of videos. That's why I give advice and stuff because I genuinely want to help out somebody else. Because I've had people help me out, but I, I mostly had to help myself. Just just keep living life and just be cautious of other people when you're dealing with somebody in that kind of way. Don't lose sleep for nobody. Don't stop living your dream, living your life for nobody because while you sitting there with your eyes open um, trying to go to sleep but you can't because a million thoughts are running through your mind, that other person is sleeping like a baby, not even having one thought about you. 